RAF Faldingworth was situated in North Lincolnshire, located about a mile from the church and close to the village of Newtoft. The site chosen was originally a decoy site for RAF Helmswell, and the site at this point was known as Toft Grange. Construction began on the airfield on the 1st of August 1942, and the airfield was built to the Class A design, consisting of three runways intersecting with each other and surrounded by the Perry track. The technical sites, along with the accommodation and communal areas, were built on the northern side of the airfield. There were three hangars built, two T2s and a B1. <coughs> with one T2 being built off the southern Perry track and the remaining hangars being built off the northern one. Although the airfield opened on 5th of July 1943, it was not officially opened until the 27th of July, even though the airfield was still incomplete at this point. Upon opening, the station became under the control of one group heavy conversion base to be used as a satellite. And on the 8th of August 1943, 1667HCU arrived with Halifaxes and Lancasters. Next, the uh, airfield saw number one LFSC flights being formed on the 21st of November 1943. This new flight was made up of the Lancasters from 1667HCU, which in turn led 1667 to become all Halifax and at this point they had 32 aircraft. More change was coming. Uh, the, uh, the airfield was upgraded to a, a substation at 14 base <coughs> under the control of Lugfeld Magna on the 23rd of January 1944. And this led to number one LFSC flight leaving Foldingworth the following day, and it also led to 1667HCU leaving the station, with a flight leaving on the 18th of February 1944, followed the next day by both B and C flights. However, soon afterwards they were replaced by an operational squadron, number 300 Squadron Polish Air Force. <coughs> The heavy bomber squadron arrived on the 1st of March 1944, bringing with them Lancasters. They had previously been using Wellingtons, but instantly converted to the Lancaster on their arrival at Foldingworth. The next month saw another new flight arrive, 1546 Beam Approach Training Flight on the 8th of May 1944. The flight was originally meant to be formed at Gamston, but due to a lack of space there, it was formed at Foldingworth instead. And the flight was also to bring a new type of aircraft to the airfield in the form of the Airspeed Oxford. <coughs> By this point, there were more aircraft uh, more personnel coming to the station, and on the 12th of June, a second flight for number 300 Squadron was formed. However, this flight was manned by English personnel until there were enough Polish personnel uh, to uh, replace them. On the 7th of October 1944, number 166 C flight arrived, and their arrival was due to the formation of number 153 squadron at Kermington. Number 153 had taken most of the personnel from 166, leaving the squadron short so the decision was taken to bolster 166 Squadron with a new flight. But their stay was short-lived, and they were soon moved on back to Kermington. <coughs> the new year of 1945 immediately brought a change. The decision was taken to disband 1546 BAT flights, and on the 9th of January they left. This left only 300 Squadron as the last residence of the airfield. At the end of the war, number 14 base was disbanded, which left the airfield as an independent station. But number 300 Squadron continued to operate from the airfield. 
taking part in post-war operations in the form of Operations Dodge, Manor and Exodus. But the end of the war was signalling the end for a lot of airfields and folding with was no exception. Number 300 Squadron was disbanded on the 11th of October 1946. And the, but the airfield wasn't at this point placed on care and maintenance, and they were replaced by 305 Squadron Polish Air Force. Their arrival brought the uh, brought the mosquitoes to the airfield. But this was short-lived as 305 Squadron was disbanded on 6th of January 1947, and the station was placed on care and maintenance. It wasn't until 1949 that the airfield would see more change, when that April control was transferred from Bomber Group to 42 Group Maintenance Command. The intended use for the airfield was to be a subsite for 93MU, and they remained in control until October 1957. <coughs> in the same month, 92MU was formed at the airfield and, the, and it was partially reactivated, but not as a flying airfield. It would be used for the supply of munitions to all the other RAF airfields. However, in November 1972, 90MU, uh, 92MU were disbanded and the airfield was closed and put up for sale. Soon after closing, the accommodation blocks were used for a short period as housing for displaced Ugandan Asians but by 1973 they'd moved on, and the airfield slowly be, uh, became uh, returned to its original use as farmland, until finally in 1998 the main part of the site was sold off. Well I hope you've enjoyed this short video, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in a future video.